Hello, members and friends of First Parish Brewster Unitarian Universalist. This is your Wednesday, May the 6th message. Today, my message is about a lot of gratitude for so many of you who helped me to get to full fellowship. On Monday, I received a letter from the Ministerial Fellowship Committee, which is like the Ministerial Accreditation Committee of the Unitarian Universalist Association, telling me that they were granting me full fellowship. This is wondrous news, and I opened it, and I started crying. Crying because I was so happy, but also crying because you are the people I want to be celebrating with, and because we can't celebrate in person together. Many of you know I submitted a waiver to the Ministerial Fellowship Committee to ask for full fellowship early so that I could participate in service of the living tradition in Providence at General Assembly this June. As many of you know, General Assembly has gone virtual because of the pandemic, and so service of the living tradition, which is this annual service where Newly fellowshipped ministers, full fellowship ministers, retired ministers, and ministers who have passed away are all honored. It will all be virtual this June. I am hopeful that next year at General Assembly in Milwaukee that large groups will be able to gather again and I can participate then. But as we know, the future is just uncertain. And so I opened this letter with much joy and gratitude for all of you who helped me to get here, and much sadness, because there is nothing more that I would love than to be announcing this in church on Sunday morning, to have a cake in coffee hour, and to just be able to give you all hugs and celebrate with you, because part of this is due to you and your ways you have affirmed and supported and nurtured me as a minister. I want to thank especially all the members of the board, even past members of the board, who have worked very hard on my annual evaluations to send into the Ministerial Fellowship Committee, as well as members of the Committee on Shared Ministry, who have been the same committee for three years and every year submitted my evaluation to the Ministerial Fellowship Committee as well. This year, they had a month to do it, as did the board in December, and they did it or maybe it was January, but they did it within a month and it was just so wonderful that they were able to do that and wonderful that the Ministerial Fellowship Committee sees me as a full fellowship minister and sees our ministry together. So today I just want to tell you all how much I love you and thank you for calling me as your minister, how much I miss you all, and just how much gratitude I hold in my heart. I know many of you will be going to the check-in this morning or have already gone to the check-in by the time you're watching this, and that parts of it will be heartbreaking when we talk about the fact that it's going to be a long time until we are able to gather and until everyone is able to gather, but to know that we're going to get through this together as a community. This community is so caring and so nurturing, and we are all in this together. And so thank you for celebrating virtually with me from afar. And thank you for the many ways that you all are caring for each other through this pandemic. We will get through this, and we will get through it together. There will be moments to celebrate. And in the midst of that celebration, there will be tears of sadness as well. And our hearts are big enough to hold it all. This community is big enough to hold it all. Know that I love you until we meet again.